Hey, hey, everybody. This is take four on this one. Uh, my name is Soy Sauce, and Soy Sauce Presents. Um, it's actually st thundering outside, so I wasn't going to do this, but I guess I will. <clears throat> um, I, get a, I got a lot of people talking about not seeing enough cookups of machine uh, native instrument uh, software online. So I'm about to do a cookup uh, with... Uh, machine software so without further ado let's just keep it moving let's see what we get see what we come up with y'all ready let's get ready to do the thing yeah so so uh, set my first scene in the first group and I want to Go find the instrument. Um, let's see. Let's see. I just want to something like a piano or something. Just start a melody off. You know what I mean. So that's it. That's all I'm gonna do. So let's find an instrument. Okay. I'm going to trophies. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is what it looked like. Okay. Basically, all I want to do is to find a keyboard or something. Or something. Start off. And I'm, my BPM is at... 155 double time. Let's see what we got. These ambient pads. Let's see. I don't want nothing. Nope. Like I said, I want keyboards. Mm hmm. Acoustic piano. Okay, that's good. <laughs> How dry I am. <laughs> you know, nothing. No, I'm tripping. Let's see. Now, I could use, um, some starter uh, things that I have, uh, like scale or two, stuff like that. Set your chords off, get it started. I have other tutorials where you can see me using it, um, but I'm just freestyling right now.
Yeah, just something simple. That's just to get me started. Oh, I can hear that rain. Now, I can actually add other stuff on here, but with this, but right now I'm going to just move this out the way. For now. Let's see what we're working with. Go here so you can see everything. Go to this little end right here. Bring it in. See some of it right here is doubled over. So I'm removing it. Delete. 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 Oh, okay. Let's see. Okay, now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just tighten it up on the grid. You know, when um, human eyes, when you're doing human eyes stuff, it's kind of off the grid. <clears throat> but right now, let's see on the grid. Okay. Keep that there and then add the other ones down low, but Now, you hear it like sound like individual notes, but I'm going to actually make it where it'll sound like a chord. So that's what I'm doing right now.
Yeah, <clears throat> see something like that. And then what I want to do is put some uh, effect on it. Now, since I have that, <clears throat> I can go back to, yeah, I can go back to that program that I was in. And add another vibe to it. Or I can use other effects, but right now. Just messed up my vibe. <laughs> Where my piano at? That went into arpeggios. That's my arm hitting. I don't want no dag on bells. The piano, where my piano at? Oh, yeah. Let me hear what I'm sounding like. Let's hear it now. I like that grain. And this here allow you to add stuff to it. And that's what I wanted to do. I wanted that to remain. But I want to add something else. Like some pads without changing that. Sheesh. Mm. Now I'm going to keep that. Keep that just like that. And I'm going to copy and paste, duplicating it. You see what I'm saying? So, so there will be keys, piano. And then right here, it's still a piano. Watch me solo. Uh, I went here where this, where this is, where the arrow is, and I right click and that highlighted that alone so that made you allowed allowed you to solo this track now now I'm gonna manipulate this one and the other one will stay as it is straight piano 
So let's just play it and manipulate it. I'm going to remove these lower notes for this one because I already got the lower notes on the other track. Delete. And I think I'm going to take this and raise the octave. <clears throat> what I did was highlight all of them. So you highlight all of them. And now I'm going to take it, take this one. It's right now, it's on the G. I'm going to take them all and drag them up. Yeah, okay, let's keep it moving. Let's hear where we're at. Let's keep moving. <clears throat> so, I'm going to call this second one a pluck. Okay. So, Okay, now what I'm now what I'm in is uh, I need a vibe. Mm. Mm. Copy. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do I'm going to turn this into a sub or 808 put right now let me just well I'm here so I guess I'll go ahead and do that now <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is remove all of the high notes delete Delete. You know, my I might delete some. So now let me add the instrument to it. Yeah. 
that's what I want to change it into. Yeah. And this is Sub Lab. Nice little sub thing here. Let's give you some nice subs. And you can create your own. Uh, let's, so let's see what I'm going to do. Let's let it play. Okay, ain't nothing there. So let's play. This way you will assure that your 808 is in key. So that's what I'm doing. If you piggyback off the notes that you already have, you can't lose with the stuff you use. Feel me? Yeah. See now, okay, for me, that's too short. <laughs> Pause, that's what she said. She ain't said to me though. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ow, oh, that's you. <sighs> Excuse me. You don't want it too busy. Mm, we 
where was I? I forgot. There it is. So off key. Like I say, the pattern is too short for this right here. Let me see. for now <laughs> let's hit this pluck by itself you left you right click so you can solo something okay now what I'm gonna do with this here I'm a um, copy it and I'm gonna paste it so I want a second copy I could have put it right there but I want a second copy, and this is, let me mute that, and so you can hear what I'm about to do to it. Uh-huh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's tight. So, but now, I need to add something to it. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> Ooh. I 
I did it wrong. Edit. Undo. You add the effects right here, not right here. This is where you add your instrument. Add another instrument. This is where you add the effect to the instrument that you already have. So, this is what we're going to do. Now, let's go right here to add the effect. So you get a set of effects. And this is what I'm going to do. <coughs> I half timed it. Mm. Let's see. I half timed it and I want to do something else to it. Mm. Let's see what it sounds like. So now, <clears throat> go ahead and uh, go into some drums. Okay, I, I got a lot of um, expansions, but I'm going to just go ahead with where we at right here. I'm gonna select the kit. Let's see. I'm just guessing right about now. Let's see. Sometimes you layer, lay. <clears throat> Sometimes you like to layer it as well, like the snare and the clap. They can go together. But when you go to doing your mixing, you can separate them. But definitely the snare and the kick, they want to be in the middle. You don't want it at all stereo out unless you creating a particular vibe that you want to do. <clears throat> There's nothing. You can break all the rules you want to break. You know, it's what you want to do. So, that's what I'm just saying. But I like that clap. So, I'm going to put that clap same way I put that snare. But I think I'm going to turn that snare down. And here, this way you go over. That's the snare. You go over. You can turn the volume down. So... But it's there. Yeah. 
so and then you uh, put some add a little funky stuff to it that one there clothes I had <clears throat> you normally have those just you know how that go or you can add bounce with them so to easily write these in you go down to the pencil tool and you come up here and just draw across uh oh I went too far I went too far mm-hmm let's see now now that's not quite like I want it so those are sixteenths maybe I want them eighths so let me clear it out Now, I could put some back to double it up, you know what I mean? But this is, the apes is what I want. Yeah. And then if I want, mm, let me see the whole thing. That's what I'm talking about. Clothes hi hat. You want to abbreviate clothes hi hat. <clears throat> and you want to name everything. Because what I actually do, um, different people do different things, but I have Studio One. Although you can do it all here, but what I do is bounce it over, send it over to Studio One so I can have my artists rap on it or whatever they're going to do you know so okay yeah see that's cool so now I'm going to bring another track um uh, sure And like I say, if there's something, oh, something you want to know. What I'm doing, I'm adding all the instruments that I'm going to use. And then what I'll do, I'll arrange it. Meaning, I'll drop certain instruments out, bring certain instruments in. Then if I feel a vibe where I want to put a rise or a drop, I might add that to a, another track or another group. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how I, that's what I do. So, but this is this is just what it is right now. For example, I'm at this scene one. This scene is the intro. So all of what you hear right now won't be played at the intro. You'll be I'll mute certain sections and I'll I'm gonna do something ahead of time. Uh, go into the scene space right here. And I right click and I hit duplicate. And then I'm going to do that several times. That's once I get all the things that I'm feeling. And you don't want to go overboard with your instruments and stuff like that. You want to always leave room for the artist to rap and come up with his vibe. So you leave stuff basic, but don't be simple. You feel me? <laughs> CMP, that's what he always said. Yeah. Keep it simple, but don't be basic. Or don't be basic, but keep it simple. Oh, wow. However, Sui sauce always say be woke, not woke ish. That's what's up. Yeah, so now I'm on this next track right here. 
it's nothing there. Um, let's go back here where we was at because this is the loop marker right here. See, that's the loop. That's as far as it go. If I hit play, see what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot more percussions to go, but it's all good. <clears throat> so, so right now, I want to pick another. Just picking uh, another uh, kit with some other sounds in it that might work. This is and this is Sui Sauce's workflow, you know. And if y'all like what I do, hit me up and show me some appreciation, you know. And if you're learning something, let me know. If you ain't, <laughs> let me know. You know, and I'm not Steve Harvey's cousin or brother or nothing like that. People always say, man, you look like Steve Harvey. Yeah. I wish I had that Steve Harvey money, baby. Yeah. All right. So I just picked another kit, and I'm going to hit my pads and see what I got on it. Yeah, some little perks <clears throat> I can do. And what I do, um, like I'm hitting the pad instead of just clicking them in every time. Sometimes I hit the pad because I feel it, you know. Um, and some and the pad has sensitivity on it. So each thing might not sound the same. So you want to set your sen sensitivity you're on your pads. So <clears throat> when you when you are messing around with the pads... Mhm. Mm yeah. So what you do is on your pad, on your controller, machine controller, you hold down um, the button pad, and then you hit fix uh, VEL, fix for velocity. That way the pads won't <clears throat> go according to how you touch it. All right. Yeah, let's see. Back it up. And <clears throat> like you see, everything on this same track <clears throat> with my drums and these on the same track, 
No. What I do, I separate all of them. So when I go to my real mixing and stuff like that, it'll be separate. Like if I'm transferring the stems over into Studio One, I separate them. I separate the, uh, all my instruments because I might want to pan something one way, pan something another way. Um, when I'm in Studio One, I have um, buses, meaning these are... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, you have groups like you have the the drum bus, the band bus. That's all the instruments. That's not percussions. Um, you have the drum bus, which is the percussions and the drums and stuff like that. And you can manipulate those all in a group. You might want the drums and everything to set up a little higher than the instruments instead of going individually or going group and turning it up. I mean, as long as you're in here, you can do it that way. Turn the group up or whatever, but no. Nah, I am separ uh, separate all of these before I track them out to uh, Studio One. So, that's what I do. And... It's like, anyway, so what I like to do is um, have something uh, like aviance or something like that. So, like, for example, in this beginning, it's like. You feel me? So it would be something like that. So let's come out of here. I'm not ready to do this yet. I'm still feeling some other stuff, so let's see. in there and see I'm from DMV and um, you know I'm an old head but you know DC is known for the go-go and that kick is something that we're very fond of here in the DMV you know so that's that's what's up and so I would definitely like to put kick in here so that's what I'm about to do right now And I'm about to extend this thing a little bit. Let me let me just duplicate. Duplicate. Oh. And another thing. How you see me doing all of these and later on I have to separate them. What you can do if you already in a kit or you already in a particular instrument that has multiple sounds in it that you're working with, just duplicate the track and create the next thing on a track. That actually uh, help you out, and you already got it done. So like for example, I got, I got this instrument, this instrument, and this instrument, all of these over here already, okay? I got, I got that there, I got that there, and I got that there, you feel me? And you will want to separate them. So now I'm getting ready to do the kick. 
Okay, that's the kick. And that's still here. But what makes it quicker is just copy and boom. Then paste. And so then you add the kick. And that you hear the other things being louder because they're still here. So what you want to actually do is remove these. You want to remove all of that. Because <clears throat> if you duplicate it, it's going to be louder. So now it's moved, removed, and this is going to be kick. So that's all I want on here. KK for kick. Okay. All right, kick. I'm doing I'm trying to find the time get the timing of the um, 808 or I can go to the 808 and bring that down onto this track the uh, um, the MIDI and bring it down and the 808 will be playing let's see uh, let's see copy let's see Copy, then I'm gonna paste it, paste, see, now then I'm going to turn the instrument into I put none there so there's no instrument there now. And now I'm going to select my kit. <clears throat> mm. And do then my kick. So that's it. So, I think I want them here. So, I'll bring them down to here. And see, <clears throat> also, extending these when it comes to percussions, it doesn't even matter. Because it's going to give you that one shot. It ain't going to drag out. I don't care how long this here is. So, like, listen. Well, you can't even hear it. Hold up. Hold up. What's going on? Mm. Well, let's just listen to it. Mm-hmm. Shit, you want them in key, but not that much. <laughs> Let me see. Let's 
See, they turned down the velocity. Nah. <clears throat> I don't like it. I ain't even messing with it. That's the sound I want. And if you wanted to, well, see, once you have <clears throat> those down like it is right now, once you have those down like that, <clears throat> um, if you want to, you know, do some tricks or something like that, you can um, change, go down, go down here to this, change the grid to 16 or 32 where it's faster. And you could do that with snares and hi hats and stuff like that. See, I could even went the grid. I could even went to made the grid even tighter, and then that's why I would have went. You know what I mean? But I just went like that. Let's see, just something to hear. That's all. See. So yeah, so that's what's up with this, and like I say, I can um, I do I do something real quick as far as arranging. Just give you a couple of bars. Um, duplicate, duplicate. Mm, I ain't never put nothing in there, so remove. Let's see. Now let's come here with the loop marker. There the loop marker. You can double click in here and you can title it. 
if you want intro then that's your intro then you can name this chorus or verse or whatever but that's your intro like you click in here okay it could be chorus C O R O. I ain't doing the whole thing but anyway yeah and then I can go verse you know one feel me yeah so. and let's see now I'm going to arrange so now this first one now I'm gonna remove the 808 I'm gonna remove the hi-hat I'm gonna remove the I'm removing all that Now I think I want to start off with the plug. See, that's what I want to start off with. So, what I do, I remove these. Remove. 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 And then everything comes in strong. Okay. So. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh. I would have probably had a roll or something like that and then like for the second part um let's see let's just go here now even this second part right here I would have maybe let's see People, some rappers start off straight rapping, and I could take away instruments here, and they start to rapping and doing what they doing, or I can go ahead and um, uh, take it and add instruments. You feel me? Oh, you 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 got you you got the gist of it already now. <clears throat> In other words, what I'm saying, this could be either the chorus or the verse. And I can either remove a lot of stuff here, and then the next one here, it'll be full. So you wouldn't get everything on this second one. It'll build into it. And then the next one, you would take stuff out. Then I would add more instruments. I would add, I would make more, du duplicate and switch them up. I would, um, in the chorus, in the order of verse pattern, I would change the drum pattern. So you don't want everything to be monotonous. And so that's about it. Um, this is Sui Sauce here at Sui Sauce Presents. And I know you don't see my face, but. That's what's up. You know where you at. You know, you don't see my face, but you're in the place, baby. Hey, this is Sui Sauce as Sui Sauce Presents. So what I want y'all to do is holler back, holler back. Please like, subscribe, share, and let's just make this thing happen. You know, um, become part of this and whatever you got going on, I'll become part of it, you know. Reach one, teach one. That's what I always say. So, like I always say, be woke, not woke-ish. 
holler back. This is soy. This is the. This is the voice of Suey Sauce. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out.